Now, in its seventh year, Assemblywoman Naomi Rivera's Walk With Me Domestic Violence silent procession continues to raise awareness and encourage the youth to become more engaged in the fight against domestic violence. What makes this event unique is that it takes place on campuses throughout New York at the same time on the same day. And we have the pleasure of having Assemblywoman Rivera with us now to talk about the Walk With Me. Welcome to the set, Assemblywoman. Thank you, Sylvia. Uh, first, let me thank you and BronxNet for allowing me to participate in this important discussion and always being uh, welcoming uh, to the issue. I know you have uh, you you like to herald um, causes that affect children and especially the youth um, in New York City. Can you tell me why did you decide to have a domestic violence walk that targets the youth versus you know everyone in general? Well. Um, we have seen throughout the years an increase in the numbers of youth that are experiencing abuse in their intimate relationships. And we know that, um, you know, they're our greatest resource. Our youth, they have, um, they engage in conversations, they have uh, experiences similar to uh, adults, especially in college, uh, but they don't necessarily know how or where they can go to address issues um, like domestic violence. And this is an issue that is prevalent. This is an issue that we have a responsibility in educating our youth and they uh, truly have a voice to help lend support in ending a cycle of violence um, that needs to stop. Um, can you tell me, let's take a step back. Seven years ago, you started this walk. Can you tell me what was the, 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 the thing that pushed you to create this walk and have this walk around New York City? The genesis, and it's not New York City, it's the state of New York. And oh. I'm very proud to say that we have over 30 schools participating throughout the state of New York. In the Bronx, um, all at Lehman College um, is participating. And now this is not just a day that we're walking, it is a week long of um, different initiatives taking place in different schools that culminates with the walk. Um, it started seven years ago as an extension of the work that I was doing at the borough president's office. I uh, was involved with Diva Spa, cre the creation of Diva Spa, Diva Talk, and um, I knew that I wanted a walk uh, to follow um, in that effort. And so when I became a legislator, it was a great opportunity to bring this issue um, and these efforts statewide. And so. Seven years ago, I went to our local campuses. I started off at Mercy College. That's where um, we began the walk. And I said, you know, we need to engage our youth in this effort. Looking at the numbers, I mean, this year alone, 11% of teenagers have reported that they have been slapped, hit, um, victims of abuse in their intimate relationships. 44% uh, percent of homicides uh, to women happened because of uh, domestic violence. Um, it is an issue that is attacking women. It is attacking our youth. Um, I'm proud to say, and I, I'd like to add, um, uh, it is not the only initiative, but it's an important one. Uh, one of the laws that we passed in Albany, the access, the expansion of um, family court access, as a result of this piece of legislation, critical piece of legislation that was passed, 22% of teenagers have filed for orders of protection. In the past, only if you were married, had a child, lived with someone, or um, were blood related could you fall for an order of protection if you were being abused or felt um, uh, that you were, your life was at risk. Now we know that um, we've opened up the doors for other victims like the LGBT community and teenagers where again, as I mentioned, there's been a growing number of reports. And I believe that number is growing not so much because we're seeing more abuse, but because, but because our youth know that they can speak out, they have a voice and they have some place to go. We have a National Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and I know you're focusing on college campuses mm -hmm. in general. What about those teens or those people who are in high school? Can high schoolers participate in this? Thank you, thank you, because um, I, I would have been remiss to, to mention that 
working with Planned Parenthood annually, we have teenagers and we have to um, give, we, we make special requests to the schools, to the different high schools, to um, ask that they be excused to participate in this important work. And yes, we have high schools that do participate. In fact, um, with the exception of last year, in the past, we've had high schools that have performed a skit to kick before we kick off the walk. Um, and they demonstrate in that skit how youth are engaged in um, uh, abuse as well. You know, how their partners can be controlling and how they um, seek help. It is a dialogue that is engaging all of our youngsters and teenagers in high school as well as our teenagers in college. So as far as people finding out more information on this event or any um, events that are in conjunction with this mm -hmm. event, where can they go to find out more information? Well, they should call my office. Uh, that number is 718-409-0109. Um, and we will share a host of events that we um, make sure that uh, our community is um, attached to so that they can help us engage in different issues and different efforts to do outreach necessary to lend support. If someone's sitting at home and they're a little nervous about attending the walk or even coming out to the day event or the week-long event, what should they do? Where should they go and what resources should they take advantage of? There's so many resources out there, but if there is someone out there watching and they're concerned about calling a provider, they can call my office and say, you know, just let us know that they need support and we will work with them so that they can get um, whatever uh, support they need so that they can get out of an abusive relationship. It is about saving lives. It is about changing um, uh, this terrible behavioral um, uh, problem. and letting folks know that they have a right to be safe, that they're not alone, and they should speak out. Since this is a statewide initiative, I know before I said um, I was Bronx-centric, um, yeah. but it's a statewide initiative. Right. Is there information on your website that um, someone who's maybe outside of Bronx County can log on and find out, like, um, this, this resource in my neighborhood is helping me, or there's this resource in Buffalo? Is that information available? We do have information available on my website, so I also encourage um, you know, viewers to go onto the website. We have lots of information that can be very helpful, not only in the area of domestic violence, but other areas. So please uh, log on to the website, call the office. We're here to provide whatever assistance we can. Thank you. And can you tell us when is the event, when oh, is the kickoff to the of event? Of course, that's Most right. Importantly. <laughs> <laughs> it is on the 25th on Tuesday. It, the program begins at 1 o'clock, Mercy College, and the walk kicks off at 1.30. So we invite everyone to participate and join us. And the color for domestic, avi domestic violence awareness is purple. Should, That's correct. should we all attend in Absolutely. purple? Absolutely. Um, and you know, the marches will not all be in purple because what you will see with these students, you will see some that will intentionally try to lend a face to how vicious this abuse um, can be. So they will have theatrical makeup showing black eyes. They'll have their hands in slings. You'll see somebody with a pillow. Um, showing that you know pregnant women too are subject to abuse and then you'll see some in suits saying that um, you know we you may not see the scars on the outside walking with signs to say you may not see the scars on the outside but I too am a victim of domestic violence because it is um, not it, it is it is not biased it is across all races religions and um, eco, you know socioeconomic um, uh, communities that's amazing, showcasing the different faces of domestic violence, and thank you for all your work that you do towards the cause. 